Oh, hello there. My name is Alfred. You may have read the story, The Lady and Her Dog. Well, today I'd like to offer a different rendition of that story, told from the dog's perspective, told from my perspective. Don't get me wrong, Anna is my master, she's my best friend, but she doesn't always see things clearly. This is my attempt to set the record straight. Here we are at the cafe. Guru and Anna happened to be sitting in the same area, and this marked the start of their relationship. They made nervous chit-chat for a while about the area and how long they'd been there. He tried to feed me some crackers, and I almost got to bite him. But Anna stopped me. I was so upset. It would have been so much fun. This is the point at which I first became concerned. First of all, why does a grown man hang around a college campus to make small talk with a girl at least 20 years younger than him? Secondly, why was he wearing that fur hat in San Diego? As they were walking down the lane, their conversation seemed a little too friendly for comfort. That's so funny. I'm actually not from here. I'm from this place you probably never heard of called El Cajon. When I came here, I wanted to study art to express my inner voice. Uh, but I didn't start out with art. I started out working for a bank in Switzerland where I learned to train for opera. So, enough about me. Let's hear more about you. Okay, well, I'm from Bakersfield, but a couple years ago I moved to LA and I got married. And just down in San Diego for a vacation, you know, spending some time by the ocean, relaxing with Alfred. My husband, he's back home. He works for the government, but I always forget what his title is. I'm Anna, by the way. I'm Gaurav. Ah, yes. After that first day, I was hoping we'd never have to see Mr. Gurav again. Unfortunately, I could tell that Anna enjoyed her brief soiree with him and wouldn't be opposed to seeing him again soon after. So one week after their first meeting, they decided to meet up at a pier and watch some boats arriving. Humans, I don't understand the amusement there. Long story short, he's got her in this embrace and he's kissing her, the goon. I wanted to rip his throat out. Nobody, nobody even touches Anna without me sniffing them out first. It was not cool. Next thing I know, we're all back in the car and we're heading back to her place and things only got more strange after that. It's wrong. You'll be the first to despise me. Folks, if you haven't gotten it by now, let me help you out a little. These two, they're really awkward. They sat like this in total silence, peeling an orange for 30 minutes. How can I despise you? You don't know what you're saying. I am a bad, low woman. I despise myself and don't attempt to justify myself. It's not myself, but my husband I've deceived. Not only just now. I have been deceiving myself for a and now I have become a vulgar, contemptible woman whom anyone may despise. I don't understand what it is you want. I love a pure, honest life, and sin is loathsome to me. I don't know what I'm doing. Simple people say the evil one has beguiled me, and I may say of myself now that the evil one has beguiled me. Hush. Hush. Sometimes, it's hard for a dog to be loyal. Heaven knows it is for me. After all of that, you would have thought that Anna would snap out of it. I mean, she's practically sitting there going bonkers with guilt. All the guy has to do is kiss her, pet her hair a little bit, and then everything is fine. I do not understand it. And then, after all of that, if you'll believe it, they go for a walk, and they're out until dawn. They leave me all alone in the room, and I have to eat some of the carpet because I'm going so crazy with anxiety. It was ridiculous. <sighs> after that, they spent every day together, and every night they went out for a drive. Kids these days. Oi. Thankfully, not too long after that, Anna's husband calls her, says, Hey, honey, there's something wrong with my eye. I need you to come home. I don't know why he couldn't deal with his eye on his own, but whatever. She leaves, and it's this whole big thing, and it was a little strange. Let me look at you once more. I shall remember you and think of you often. We shall part forever now, 
But it is for the best. <coughs> I never thought I'd actually come to this. I never thought I'd been in love before. But I think I must be now because I can't think of anything but Anna. My wife is boorish as ever, and life doesn't hold any interest for me without Anna. It's like in Brigadoon, when Gene Kelly can't stop thinking about his body last in the Scottish Highlands. Except without music, and men in tights, and a village that disappears every night. Anyways, I can't stop thinking about her at the oddest moments. I made a rash decision and went to her hometown yesterday. I stood outside her house all day because I couldn't make contact with her for fear of her husband finding out. It was awful. to tell someone. I'm so excited I might burst. I went to the theater last night with my husband, and during the first interval, he got up and left. As I sat there, I heard a voice behind me say hello, and who do you think it was? It was Gurov! He frightened me so badly, but I could not have been happier to see him. So I went out in the hallway and talked with him there. I don't even know where to begin this time. Those two lovebirds are making me sick. Anna got back from the theater that night and confided everything to me, because, let's face it, I'm a dog, and she knows I can't talk back to her or to her husband. So, she gets back, she tells me everything that happened, and then, get this, she goes to see him, to see Gurov. And then, of course, upon her return, I get the entire reenactment. It went a little like this. What news? Wait, I'll tell you directly. I can't talk. Don't cry, my darling. You've had your cry. That's enough. Let us talk now. Let us think of some plan. And then they spend a bunch of time talking about how they can avoid the necessity for secrecy, for deception, living in different towns, not seeing each other all the time, blah, 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 blah. And then the profound imp just says, How? 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 I'll tell you how. This is not Brigadoon. You can't sing away your troubles, and you can't run away into a fantasy land whenever life gets tough. You both have spouses. Go figure it out with them. I'm sick of it.